Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today I'm going to be doing my college football playoff rankings predictions. This is, will be the final time I do rankings predictions for the 2023 season. As tomorrow at noon Eastern time, the top four will be the final four in the college football playoffs will be announced. This is going to be the one of the most exciting college football playoff announcements in the 10 years of college football uh, since the, you know, it expanded to four teams in the college football playoffs. But as it is the most exciting four-team announcement for the college football playoffs in recent history and maybe ever, this will be the last. As in going into next year, the college football playoff will expand to 12, which I'm so excited for. And we wouldn't have any of these problems if <laughs> if it was the college football, if the college football playoffs were 12 a 12 team playoff right now uh but honestly the end of this with all the teams who's gonna get in who's not gonna get in it's been pretty exciting to watch so um i'm excited for the 12 team playoff to kick in next year but i think for this year it's fun seeing all this drama right now uh chaos as everybody's calling it chaos i like seeing all the chaos in college football playoffs right now as a longhorns fan i'm worried about it though if we get in or not i think we should get in i mean if Alabama gets in, I think Texas deserves to get in. That's just my opinion. Uh, but let's go over it. So I'm going to go over the top 10. I know uh, whoever is at 10 and 9, they have they don't have any, you know, they didn't even play this week. Let's go over that real quick. 10, Penn State, 9, Missouri. Neither one of those two teams played this week. Um, but good seasons for those two teams right there. But they're in the top 10 and would be in the college football playoffs if, um, if it was expanded. All right, then getting to the number eight spot. And this team had a great season. And I feel as in the top eight spots, or, you know, the eight teams that have a chance or had a chance to get in the college football playoffs, this is the only two lost teams. So they do deserve to be at number eight. And that's Oregon. I mean, Oregon played a great game against Washington. It was a close game. They lost 31 to 34. It was a good game. But. They are the only two lost team that is remaining after Penn State and Missouri, so they deserve to be number eight in my opinion. But then getting to number seven, and this one's hard because this is a one loss team. They played a great season. Their only loss is to most likely the number one team in the country. You know when they match up against them, number three. But uh, will when the season is said and done, they'll be the number one team in the country. So it's hard to put them at seven when they had a great year, but. I have to put Ohio State at seven. Um, I hate to do that, but and I I don't think that Ohio State has any chance of making it to the college football playoffs. But I would like to put them at six or or six or five, and and I have to hate that I have to drop them a spot, even though they didn't even play this week. But that's that's the reason why I'm dropping them. Look, you just saw Texas win the Big Twelve. You saw Florida State who remains unbeaten at 13 and 0 georgia and alabama i know georgia lost also alabama i mean they just won the sec championship i think alabama and texas are are the reasons why ohio state is is falling here it's because these are two teams that they were ahead in texas and alabama now those two teams are are you know conference champions in Bay 12 and sec champs with texas and alabama and another thing is i really think it's hard to put ohio state in the top four, when they weren't even re- representing a conference championship game this week. They did not play in a championship game this week. They had that chance to beat Michigan and move on to the Big Ten championship and beat Iowa just like Michigan did tonight, and they couldn't do it. So in my opinion, even though Mich- even though Ohio State is 11-1, and their only loss is to a great team like Michigan, uh, they were not a part of this championship weekend, uh, which kind of hurts them in my opinion. And I have them at seven. But then at number six, this is something that would shock a lot of people. But I think a big part of it is with the quarterback injured. And, you know, it, you know it's not about the mo. you know, it's, you know, sometimes they've made it where, you know, the committee's made it where it's about the best record. But I think it's a, it's going to be, you know, this top four is going to be about who they think is. Are the, are the best teams and Florida State had a great run I think I don't even know when's the last time a 13 and0 team gets left out of the top four and looking at a conference champ winning the ACC 
championship. But I have Florida State at six. I mean, you got a third string quarterback. Just to commit, no one wants to see. I, I think Florida State are an underrated team. I think they're a good team. And, and you compare Florida State to a team like Alabama, Florida State's best win against LSU. LSU, that's Alabama's third best win. So I think that's something you got to view when you look at you look at compare Alabama and Florida State. Florida State's best win is LSU. That's Alabama's third best win. I mean Alabama's, uh, you know, and Alabama's, you know, only loss is against Texas, who's a team who just won the Big Twelve and is twelve and one. So uh, I think Al- team like Al- teams like Alabama and Texas deserve to be over Florida State. And I have Florida State at six, but I know a lot of people definitely can argue with that, with them being 13-0, and just winning the ACC championship game. But I think with Jordan Travis out for the season, breaking his leg, and you know them not really beating a lot of great teams this year. Their best team, they, the best team they beat was number 13 LSU, and that was the first game of the season. I just don't think that, you know, and that's Alabama's, third best win i just don't think it you know florida state with a third string quarterback and you know they have not beat a lot of great teams this year i don't think they will get in i don't think they deserve to be in and i think it it'd be a lot like tcu last year if they do get in it's gonna i'm not gonna say they're gonna get blown out by 50 however however much georgia beat tcu out by in the national championship but Let's say Florida State gets in and they become the third or fourth team in the country. Whoever they're matching up against, whether it's Washington or Michigan, is going to absolutely blow them through the water. And I think this committee wants to see good games in the college football playoffs. Listen, most of the games last year were good. Look at Georgia last year against Ohio State. That was a great game. Michigan TCU was a great game. But then you had the national championship. was was absolutely terrible. So I just don't think Florida State... If the committee is looking at how games might be interesting in the college football playoffs or in the national championship, Florida State, that's not that just, nobody is going to care about Florida State. Um, so I have them at number six. But then at number five, this is the hardest question. Number five, who is that? Who Who's going to be number five? Who gets left out? You would think the SEC champ needs to be in the college football playoffs. Let's, let's go. Let's go a little backwards. Let's go on uh who's number one who's number two who's number three then we get to four and five and number one i have michigan that's no surprise and number two i have washington again no surprise and then at number three this is where it gets tricky i have at number three texas i mean texas i know they're 12 and one and uh you're putting a 12 and one texas team over a Florida State team, and I've already, I've already been over why I think Texas and Alabama are way better than Florida State, but um, Texas deserves to be in this college football playoffs. If Alabama is going to get in because they are SEC champions, Texas, who beat them in Tuscaloosa, you know, in their home grounds where they are play amazing football uh, in Alabama and Tuscaloosa, Texas needs to be in the top four. And if Texas, if Alabama gets in, and Texas doesn't. That's going to be crazy, but it that it won't come to that because I, I got to say I will uh I you know these this committee has kept a lot in mind about head to head matchup, um and they've always had Texas over Alabama. I'm going to say this right now: either Texas and Alabama both get in, or neither of them do. Uh, I'm saying that I'm going to go ahead and say that they I think they're either either both of them are going to get in the college football playoffs or they're both going to miss it. I don't see a way where both teams, where, where one team makes it and the other doesn't. I, I really don't. Um, you can't leave Alabama the SEC champion out. You can't leave Texas out if Alabama is going to get in. Uh, I think both teams have to be in the college football playoffs. And I have Texas at three, I have Alabama at four, and then that big question on who's going to be number five sucks. You know, Being 29-1 and one in your last 30 games – and winning back-to-back national champions. But at, at five, I have Georgia. You just lost the SEC championship game. Alabama deserves to be over you. Uh, Alabama deserves to get in over you. And 
the team that beat Alabama deserves to get in as well in Texas, that means Georgia, you are not in the college football playoffs. So yeah, that is it for my rankings predictions. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on my predictions and give me your predictions and your predictions in the comment section.